Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, a family member of Javante Tane Davis reaches out to me and says, your boy Devin Haney better win April 20th because his blank A double money sign is on the chopping board for Tank Davis next. And we know you ain't a millionaire like Tank Davis, Blue. But put your money where your mouth is. And I said, what? Make it light on yourself. Let me say it to y'all again. Ronnie Shills, let's go. TJ Love. Tie in the sky, piece of bus and screen. They said, Blue, you better put your money where your mouth is because you're doing a lot of talking. And I said, what? What? They said, you better put your money where your mouth is. And I said, make it light on yourself. They said, you really believe in your boy? You seen the tape? I said, I seen the highlight footage. I said, I seen a highlight footage. You seen the tape? I said, no, I didn't. I seen the highlight footage. And make it light on yourself. 20 racks. Nice with it. What's up? 20 racks. So I said, yo, kinfolk. Best to get in the negotiations after this. He said, if he don't get in negotiations with Devin Haney, I'll send you a stack. I said, what? He said, if he don't get in negotiations with Devin Haney, I'm going to send you $1,000. A stack. If he negotiate with anybody other than Devin Haney next and pursue Devin Haney, I'll send you a stack, but your boy better take the offer. I said it better be lucrative. Don't, 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 don't make an offer for the sake of saying I made an offer. That don't count. That don't count. I said because Tank and, and Ryan did 1.2. I believe Devin and, and Ryan going to do at least a million. He said, tickets ain't selling. I said, well, you could have fooled me. Muscle up, Kev, what's up? You could have fooled me. So that boy, Devin Haney, about to do big numbers. He said he better stop, Ryan. I said he just better win. A win is a win is a win. A win is a win is a win, is what I said. A win is a win is a win. That's what I said. Ronnie Shields, salute to your great brother in the super chat. Much love. Appreciate you. I said a win is a win is a win. That's what I told him. And he said, you right. I said, listen, ain't nobody said, well, when Floyd uh, beat Cotto, he got to knock him out because Manny Pacquiao did. Via Ferrer, what's good? Reginald Fields, what's good? I said, when Floyd beat M Miguel Cotto, ain't nobody said he got to knock him out because Pacquiao knocked him out. No, he won. And then he beat Pacquiao. He said, so you saying Tank is trash? I said, I never said that. I just believe Devin Haney wins. I just believe Devin Haney wins. Urban BDK, uh, Ur Urban BDKNY, what's up, family? Jose Villanueva, what's good? I just believe he wins. Period. I believe he wins, right? So he said, watch this. The big ape going to show up after he knock out Frank Martin. Hey, what's up? He said, I know you think Frank Martin going to win. I said, I didn't say Frank Martin was going to win. But I do think it's the toughest challenge of his career. 
But I will say this, Texas was good. He best to negotiate with Devin Haney after this Frank Martin fight or his or his his reputation is going to take a hit. Larry Lopez, what's up? Smash that like button. Ray Willis, what's up? Tip O'Malley, what's good? I said he his reputation going to take a, a massive hit if he don't negotiate with Devin Haney after this. What direction he going to go in? He said he ain't got no other direction. Only thing on his mind is Devin Haney. He ordering a heavy bag with Devin Haney face on it. I said, well, he need to order a contract with Devin Haney name on it. How about that? How about that? The bird name, what's up? And it's a close family member of Tank Davis. Proven. I'm not going to say no names. Texas South, Mario Forster, what's good? Proven name, proven family member, kinfolk of Javante Tank Davis. Now, I don't know if they bloodline, but they family. Kiki, peace and blessings to the queen in the super chat dropping that. Cinco on your boy, Blue. Appreciate you, queen. Yeah, so he said, oh, we getting ready to order a heavy bag with Devin Haney face on it. I said, how about ordering a contract with Devin Haney name on it? Colin Frederick, what's good? How about that? Reginald Moulton, what's good? He said, Blue, why Haney didn't negotiate with Shakur? He tried to. Shakur didn't want to take it. And Shakur admitted he should have took it. Daryl Graham, what's up, family? Jamal Robinson, what's good? I don't believe nothing Tank or his, or his Stan said. Well, this is a kinfolk, so I believe them. I'm going to take them at their word. You understand? 619 Cali Factor, what's good? Keddy Peace 504, what's good? You understand? I'm going to take them at their word. Larry Lopez, what's up, family? So I said, listen, he best to go ahead and send that man the contract. He best to get busy with the contract. And he best to focus on Frank the Ghost Martin. Marky Dan, one, two, three. What's up, family? I said he best to focus on Frank the Ghost Martin because he ain't no joke. Well, here's the thing. He said, well, Blue, we know you really rock with Tank. Philip Franklin, what's good? I said I never said I didn't. Tony, 10 times, do so six. What's good? But I'm a fan of the sport of boxing first. I never said I don't rock with Javante Tank Davis. Never said I don't like Javante Tank Davis. I never said any of those things. It gets perceived as such because I'm going to call a spade a spade. And he holds the deck. Donnell J, what's good? He said, y'all want your boy to get knocked out so bad. If, I, if, if, if that's what you believe, then you should be wanting your boy to knock him out so bad. Why aren't you on that side of the coin? Ramon Sims, what's up, family? YG Knight, what's up? The Birdman, what's up? He said Tank will call it KO Devin Haney. When? Mark S, what's good? When? That sounds good. Tank going to knock him out. When? So I could be there. Dev could be there. Bill could be there. Tell me when. When is this going to take place? Eggy D, what's up, family? Ronnell uh, Trahan, what's up? In time? What you mean in time, bro? It's been time. What you mean in time? See, y'all don't even know what to say now. In time. In time when? It's been time. They've been in the same division for four and a half years. That wasn't enough time? Shamar Rashawn Shalom was good. Hasn't it been time? Smash that like button, man. Let's get them likes all the way up. Yeah, YG Knight, let me know so I can be there. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my little coins to the side. You feel me? Let's get it. He said, Devin only good at range. That's all you got to be good at. What did you mean? Texas 16 South was good. Isaiah Wallace was good. I mean, do you watch boxing? Do you know Winky Wright beat Felix Trinidad with a jab alone and that's it? Nothing else? Nothing more? Joe Johnson, what's up, nephew? See, if y'all watch boxing, you wouldn't say such things. All he could do is fight at mid-range. That's all you need. Trinidad is a Hall of Famer, a legend. And Winky Wright outboxed him with only using a jab alone. What you mean? 
Floyd Mayweather ain't got no power. All he used was counter punches against Manny Pacquiao, and he won. If he don't fight Haney next, you think Loma is good enough? Loma's been good enough. TJ Love Sports was good. So you think Tank can't take away his jab? No. I don't think Tank is going to take away his jab. His arm's too short. His physical makeup is too short. He's not aggressive enough. He don't have a work rate a a enough. Via Ferrer was good. Devarius Hall was good. Le uh, Levy Tolbert, what's up? What? Uh, Wendy definitely uh, did in Trinidad, my guy, but Winky did his thing. So I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand the sport of boxing. You understand fanism. Jay Isaac, what's up, family? Come on, Blue, you see? No, I don't know. Travis Touchdown, what's up, family? OC or our O's, what's good? <clears throat> they definitely got to get their upcoming fights. Shamar Rasham, Shalom, my brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue in the super chat. Salute, Blue. They say everything, but let's fight. Send the contract team while he, the world is uh, waiting. Is is stop waiting. The world is stop waiting. Facts. Jaleel Hunter, what's good? Tank footwork and angles will take away Dev Jab. We're going to find out, ain't we? Here we go. Can't, come on, Blue. You seen the tape? No, I seen highlights. Brandon McGee, what's good? For, uh, Fathery Louie, what's good? Blue, you are the best, brother. What up? Salute to you, King. Appreciate you. Yusuf Little B1, what's up, family? You seen the tape? No, I didn't. I seen highlights. Just like you saw highlights. You didn't see no tape. Silver Surf, what's up, family? Stop making up stories. He said, I don't know, Blue. He took away Barrios' jab. No, he didn't. Barrios took his own jab away. Watch the fight again. He didn't take Mario Barrios' jab away. Mario Barrios took it away himself. His 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 ring IQ and not understanding he was getting too close to Tank Davis, not taking a step back, not being patient. He took his own jab away. He took his own jab away. Tank Davis set traps and he fell for it. That's his fault. Chris J was good. He gave up his height. He gave up his range. In the first five to six rounds, Mario Barrios' jab was not being taken away. Biz 0128, uh, 0128, what's up, family? In the first five to six rounds, Mario Barrios' jab was not being taken away. Please stop. What happened was Tank Davis started setting traps. Mario Barrios fell in the traps, and there, that was all she wrote. Period. That was Mario Barrios' fault. Because if he would have took a step back, it's not possible for Tank Davis to take his jab away because he's just physically uh, too imposing. Donnie D, 1954, what's up, OG? It's not possible. But guess what he did? He, uh, uh, Mario Barrios started allowing himself to be too close, started falling into the traps, right? And, and, and gave up his height, and that was all she wrote. If you can't think your way through a fight with Tank Davis, you might as well not even be in there. Calvin Elliott, what's good? Joshua Rosario, what's good? Or Aaron Purnell, what's up, family? If you if you if you can't think your way through a fight, you good as you good as gone. You may as well not even be in there with Tank. West Philly tour, what's up, family? James Wilson, what's up, family? If you can't think your way through a fight, don't go in there with Tank Davis because you're gonna lose. You already lost. Tank Davis's greatest attribute is his way, his ability to think his way through a fight. It's his ring IQ. Because he's always been at a size disadvantage. So he knows how to force you to give up your size to put him in position to be successful. But y'all don't understand that. Brave Boxing Club, what's up, family? Y'all wouldn't understand that. Barbara James, what's good? What's up, big boy? Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't have your size, but I'm going to get tomorrow. He said tomorrow they should have it. Okay. All right. Elvis Ortiz, what's good? But if you don't understand the sport of boxing and you just overly a fan, then you would say stuff like that. For the record, I rock with the truth with them both, Haney and Tank, but Tank style beats that. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. It's, it's, it's cool. It's good that you rock with them both. That's a good thing. Big Truck Trap Star, what's up, family? You should, because you rocking with them both, meaning that you a fan of the sport of boxing. That's what you're supposed to be, a fan of the sport of boxing. 
You understand? And you can favor one fighter. There's no problem with that. Uh, Daryl Graham, my brother in Super Chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said Tank will take punishment, but he'll uh, knock Devin out. We're going to find out. That's the best part about it. Carry me world. What's good? Carry my world. What's good? That's the best part about it. That is the best part about it. it, it you, you can favor it. It's okay to favor Tank. Yolanda Dixon, peace and blessings, Queen. How you feeling today? The problem that I have is not the people that... Oh, I, I'm a fan of sport of boxing. I rock with them both, but I think Tank gonna knock them out. Cool. I rock with them both, but I think Devin's not on Tank level. Cool. There's no no problem. I have the I have a problem with the people that come here, just making up things from the clear blue yonder, just to favor Tank Davis because they're not fans of the sport of boxing. Blunt and soul was good. Six nineteen, Cali Factor, my brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He says, "Salute, brother Blue." I hear Shakur Stevenson will defend his titles against Raymond Martelli. Is this true? Uh, that's a good fight. Yes. If if Raymond gets past his next fight, uh, July sixth. Joe Johnson, what's up, nephew? West Philly told us good. You'll see uh, Martella and Shakur Stevenson in Newark, New Jersey, at the Prudential Center, July sixth. My brother, bitch, be mega star in the building. What's up, family? How you feeling? How you feeling, family? Jaleel Hunter, what's good? Just just don't see nobody around Tank weight class on his level. There ain't no problem with that. I don't have no problem with that. Tank is special. Mangler Tone, what's good? I wouldn't want to see Devin and Tank fight if Tank wasn't special. See, that's the problem that people have. Willie Waddy, what's good? PGH Big Dog, what's good? Inside the square circle, my brother King Julian, what's up? No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm a niner, bro. I've been a niner for my entire life. It just is what it is. I like the Leonard Floyd signing that we just did. <clears throat> I'm a niner, man. Craig Reed, what's good? Blue, fine boys be be, um, be chasing after the win. Yeah, so so here's my thing, right? I don't have a problem with uh, anybody. TJ Love, what's good? <clears throat> I don't have nobody, no problem with people saying, man, Devin is not on tank level. Cool. You understand? Blade Brown, what's up, family? My whole thing, my, the thing for me is that I want to see uh, the best fight the best. In order for, <clears throat> bang, bang. In order for, uh, Biz0128, what's good? In order for me to see the best fight the best, and I'm calling for Devin and Tank to fight one another, then that means, obviously, I think Tank is one of the best. But if you listen to people talk, they'll tell you, oh, you hating on Tank. That just sounds utterly ridiculous, seeing as though I'm telling you that I think Tank is one of the best fighters in the world. He's a superstar. One of two. Okay? I don't think that there's many faces of the sport of boxing. I think there's two dudes. And that's Tank and that's Canelo. Barbara James, brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy, Blue. He says, salute, Blue. Keep doing your thing. Salute. Appreciate you, King. Uh, 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 so, but you have people that come here and they over fanism. They can't help themselves. Oh, they, they live, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, they can't help themselves, right? They, they obsess. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no, Tank can't do this. Tank can do it. Tank, if, if you let them tell it, Tank is faster than a locomotive. He's able to leap buildings in, in under a, 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 a second. You understand? He's Superman. You understand what I'm saying? But yet, in the same token, they'll tell you he's Superman. But in the same breath, they'll say they'll say stuff like, "Yeah, well, Devin need to have a rehydration clause. Yeah, Devin needs to fight it this way." Tip O'Malley, my brother in the super chat, he said, uh, "Respect Devin Tank. De uh, stop talking and fight." Yeah, I'm with you. You understand? Uh, uh, he's able to leap tall buildings in under a split second. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, he's he's faster than a locomotive. Via Ferrer, what's good? He's able to do all these things, but then as soon as you say Bobby Young, what's good? <clears throat> Wendy Lit Wolf, what's good? Little Wolf, what's up, family? So what's your opinion? Uh, so what's your opinion on why you believe in Dev and what separates Dev from Tank? I said that a million times, brother. I broke that down a trillion times. I, I broke that down a trillion times. A trillion times I have broke that down. I've broken that down a trillion times. Why? I think that uh, uh, Arthur Williams III was good. 
why I think Devin went in. I said it's a 50-50 fight. But, you know, people can't hear. They're they going to hear what they want to hear. Brother UK, what's up, family? People are going to hear what they want to hear. They have selective hearing because they don't want to hear that. You understand? They have the, the uh, Tank Davis is actually a hero to these people. The reason that he's a hero to these people is because they're in situations that they can't see themselves out of. Uno Munos, what's good? It's okay to be a superhero. You understand? Let, let me. Let, uh, it's okay to be a fan, but you got to be realistic. You understand? I have a problem with. You ever seen that movie, The Fan, with uh, Wesley Snipes and uh, 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 um, what's his name? Uh, it's Wesley Snipes and uh, um, uh, uh, Kendrick Kendrick Booker. What's good? I need y'all get the likes up, man. We got three hundred and eighty people in here, and we have one hundred and forty-one likes. Where do they do that at? Wipe your feet before you come inside. Ring my doorbell before you walk in my house. Uh, 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 Mark Fraley was good. Blade Brown, classic. R De Niro. Yeah, Robert De Niro. The, that movie, The Fan. That's what these people are. That's what they are. They, 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 they're Robert De Niro in the movie, The Fan. That's who they are. You understand? They can't help themselves. Right? Kendra Booker, my brother in the Super Chat, dropping that dub on your boy, Blue. Appreciate you, King. They can't. Uh, uh, Antonio Banderas, right. Robert De Niro. They can't help themselves. They got it. They, they, they can't. They'll tell you that he's able to leap tall buildings in under a split second. Right? They'll tell you he's faster than a locomotive. They'll tell you he catches bullets with his teeth. But then in the same breath, they'll tell you that his opponent needs to be at a disadvantage. But you just said that he do all these fantastic, wonderful things. Black Superman, what's good? Top Money, 87, what's good? Right? Top Money, 87. Big Silk, what's good? He said, why he got to be a hero, Blue, just because we think he'll beat Devin Haney. Well, if the shoot... See, clearly, you fit in that kind of category. Because if the shoe didn't fit, you wouldn't say that was you. But clearly, you one of those people. That's why you attest to that. You identify with that because that's who you are. If you didn't identify that, you wouldn't say what you just said. But clearly, you you identify with that. I just said, I don't have a problem if you think that he can beat Devin Haney. I don't have a problem if you think he's a level above Devin Haney. If you think he's going to knock out Devin Haney, he's going to outbox Devin Haney, however you see fit. Dog fight, what's up, family? I don't, I don't have a problem with none of those things. I have a problem with you saying that he can leap tall buildings in under a second. I have a problem with you saying Aaron Butler, do six deuce. What's up? 88 keys was good. I have a problem with you telling me he's faster than a locomotive. Right? Uh, Avery Heron, what's good? I have a problem with, with people saying that he catches bullets with his teeth. But then the moment you say, well, fight Devin Haney. Well, Devin Haney got to come down to 135. It got to be a catch weight. Devin Haney needs to have a rehydration clause. Well, take knockout heavyweights and sparring with 16-ounce gloves and, and headgear on. Well, Devin got to come back down, man. You saw that. You saw that sparring clip. You saw him knock him out. But Devin need to have a rehydration clause. Well, which one is it? Which one is it? Better be at versus Bivol. We got to stay on topic. I'm talking about a specific topic. Uh, I, but I have Dimitri Bivol winning the fight. Avery Heron was good, and that's June 1st. So we ain't see Devin almost out um, by Loma. Is that what you saw? The bird money? Now, you want to put your money where your mouth is? Here we go, making up lies. Here we go. Here we go. Dom G was good. Here we go, making up lies. So you saw Devin Haney almost knocked out by Lomachenko. Is that what you saw? You want to put your money where your mouth is? And you tell me what round. I'll play the round right now, and you put your money where your mouth is. If you saw Devin Haney almost knocked out, and we see Devin Haney, I'll send you $500. And if you can't, then you send me a hundred dollars. That's a that's a that's a bargain, isn't it? Michael LeBron, what's good? He said that's why it's weight class for a reason. The funny part about it is they fight in both the same weight classes. So how could that be weight classes for a reason when they both fight at 140 and 135? Toe to toe Savage TV, what's up, family? They both fight. You, you said, see, that's why it's weight class for a reason. You're right. But the funny part about it is they fought in the same weight class for four and a half years, and they both have the same amount of fights at 140. Eh. 
See how that works? Lamar uh, Poitras is good. You see how that works? I box. I don't care. Clayton Bullock, uh, Thomas Senior. What's up, family? Chip Game Sports TV. What's up, family? So where's the brother that said Devin Haney was knocked out and going to be knocked out in the 10th round? You ready to put your money where your mouth is? I'll send you $500 and I'll play that 10th round then. We got a deal? I don't do, I don't someone coming up. I don't want someone coming up 20 pounds overweight. Who's 20 pounds overweight? Who you saw 20 pounds overweight, brother? Jungle from Hempstead. Salute to the 11550 in the building. Salute to the 51631. Salute to the Stead Hempstead in the building. What's up, family? Mario Battle, what's good? Reginald Field, what's good? This dude said Devin Haney came in 20. First of all, if Devin Haney came in 20 pounds overweight, the fight would not have been allowed to continue. Please try again. Don Ramos, what's good? Got Davis at 135, not sure at 140. At 140, uh, would want hydration clause at, one, at 140 if he were tank. If I were tank as a former college wrestler, I know I was a different person the whole day after the weigh in. <clears throat> so you want tank to have an advantage. Michael LeBron, 160 uh, pounds fight night. And th that's not, is th was he overweight? I'm going to ask you again. See, if you don't know what you're talking about, about the sport of boxing, you should not comment on it. You should go do your research. Educate yourself on the sport of boxing. Period. Will Smith, what's up, family? How you feeling? Y'all want Tank to have an advantage. That's called fear. Alexis, what's good? You know what that's called? That's called fear. That's called, you're not sure. Like you said, you think that he can win at 135 because you think Devin Haney is going to be at a disadvantage because you think Devin Haney is going to be wagering. You're not sure if, Dev, if Tank could beat Devin Haney at 140 because Devin Haney is going to be his natural self. And therefore, you don't think that natural Devin Haney beats natural Javante Tank Davis. So therefore, you want De Tank Davis to have an advantage. Fido, what's good? Why do you say that, Blue? Because do you think that Tank Davis walks around at 135? Absolutely not. Do you think he walks around at 140 pounds? Absolutely not. Do you think he walks around at anything less than 150 pounds? Absolutely not. So therefore, you know Tank Davis, just like Leonard Ellaby said on the tape, he walks around at least 160. For surely Sean, what's up, nephew? D-Boy Dev, what's up, family? No, uh, Adunji, what's up, family? So because of his height, you want to make, you want to, you want to uh, correlate his height with his size. That's not the truth. Because he walks around at 160 pounds. I need y'all smash the like button and get the likes of the 300 right now. Smash the like button. Let's get the likes of the 300 right now. If you did not, we have 400 people here and we have 168 likes. 186 likes, excuse me. Smash the like button. Let's get the likes all the way up to 300. If you have not smashed the like button, smash it. Wipe your feet before you come inside. Ring my doorbell before you walk in my house. Get the likes all the way up. It's free. It don't cost you a thing. Smash the like button. Let's get the likes up to 300. TR, what's up? Smash the like button. Let's get the likes up to 300. Participate. Stop moonlighting. It's free. Hey, Will, what's up, nephew? It's going to happen. Um, uh, they're going to have a legendary fight. Oh, for sure. I have no doubt they are. Uh, nephew, I have no doubt they are. Uh, uh, see, the issue that I have, nephew, is the people that come here and they want Tank to have an advantage, which lets me know that they don't think that Tank is a better fighter than Devin Haney. See, if you thought that Tank was a better fighter than Devin Haney, you wouldn't ask for such things. You understand? But see, they ask, uh, nephew, they ask for, they want to see Tank have an advantage because they truly deep down don't believe he's a better fighter than Devin Haney. See, that, that, that highlight clip that went viral, it just gave them a false sense of hope. It gave them some sort of confidence, right? This adrenaline boost of confidence that they can now say, oh, whew, yeah, now I see how it looks. Yeah, he'll knock out Devin. But that's not what they truly believe inside. Craig Reed, 
they know that's not what they, they know they know they truly don't believe that inside you understand they truly inside believe like man Devin haney against regis program that looked ugly that was nasty work and they didn't see they don't see they don't see light at the end of the tunnel so therefore right they're coming up with these rhymes and reasons and excuses tip o'malley my brother in the super chat with tank but loma bro you better off uh say lenares facts so to salute to my brother Tip O'Malley in Super Chat. Louis Melendez, what's good? What up, Blue? My favorite fighter is Tank. And I say uh, Tank should fight at his best and Devin should fight at his best. Uh, Tank won't get proper re recognition otherwise. Right. Any other fighter we, we see, right? Uh, 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 we see fighters. King Josie 410, what's up, family? No, Blue, we really do believe. No, you don't believe. If you telling me that you Tank needs this, Oh, well, well, the rehydration and this. Guess what? If Tank for anybody else, you wouldn't be talking like this. You're only saying this because it's Devin Haney. And you know Devin Haney's uh, 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 um, skill set is, is a bad skill set for Tank. That's why. So now suddenly Devin Haney needs to jump through hoops and hurdles. Right? He needs to do all these things that you wouldn't put this. You wouldn't put these on anybody else. But because you know Devin Haney's skill set and talent, you want to place these labels on them. Point blank and period. That's where that comes from. That's where that stems from. Charles Bellamy, what's good? See, if he if you truly believe he knock out heavyweights with 16 ounces gloves on and headgear on, and you believe that he knocked Devin Haney out in that sparring session, Ed Jenkins, what's good? Then you be, you you wouldn't say such things like oh well he needs Devin needs to have a rehydration clause or he needs to have a catch weight you wouldn't say such things. But you truly deep down you you are you are telling on yourself. Foot, what's up? You are telling on yourself. You have just told the world that hey bro, this dude is a different animal. Tank better be careful and he need to handicap that man or otherwise it's going to get ugly. Is what you just said. That's what you just said. You just you have just admitted that. And it's cool. It's understandable. SPM 619, what's good? Because see, uh, 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 Kanye, Kanye, what's good? Okay, before I voice my opinion, I'm going to say, what's up, Blue Bud? Salute to you, King. Troll, what's up, family? Uh, does Frank Martin got a catch weight and rehydration clause? Of course not. Of course not. Now, why would he? Dog fight, my brother in the super chat. Refresh the super chat. Salute. Appreciate you, King. Why would he? See, this is why I said, R Roberto Todd, what's up? It's not fans of the sport of boxing. I think size matters and it doesn't matter what size tank walks around that because you have a higher body fat uh, concentration. So when I predict who's going to win a fight, I'm looking at everything. Cool. I understand you. So size matters, right? Size matters, right? I'm asking you. Isaiah Eman, what's good? Right? You said size matters, right? Okay. Now I need you to show me what fight Devin Haney used his size as an advantage. See, it's not Devin Haney's size. It's his skills that you fear. And because you fear his skills, you want him physically not to be able to use all his skills. And as long as he's dehydrated, he can't move like he wants to move. He can't react like he wants to react. And you believe that he won't be able to take a punch. So it has nothing to do with size. Because show me one fight where Devin Haney used his size as an advantage. Show me the fight that Devin Haney was in there using his size as an advantage. Show me. Because his physical intangibles, like his height and his arm reach, is not going to change even if he fought at a catchway. True Coronado, what's good? Devon Thines, what's up? So if he fought Tank at 135, is his arms going to get shorter? Is he going to get shorter? So he when when uh 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 the bird man said now we already uh, bird man until you answer my question I'm not going to acknowledge you 
Bobby B, what's up, family? I, I, I lay the challenge on the table. You have not, you ain't, you ain't say nothing. So I'm asking you, I ain't gonna respond to you until you uh, 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 answer the question. Take the challenge or not, bro. See, y'all be speaking and saying things as a matter of fact, and then when I lay these challenges down, then you fade to the back. Shogun76, what's good? Uh, uh, but I'm asking you, great brother, uh, Don Ramos, when did Tank Davis, when did Devin Haney use his size as an advantage? In what fight did you see Devin Haney use his size at a, as an advantage? Jose Ayala, what's good? Blue Loma made it very competitive with Haney, and he's a small dude. Tank should have no excuses. Agreed. And Tank got longer arms than, than Lomachenko. <clears throat> Tip O'Malley, my brother in the super chat. I'm Tank guy, but Barrios was big than Dev, was bigger than Dev. Facts. For for sure. When did when did you see Devin Haney use his size as an advantage? Jermaine Gant, what's up, family? When? I need y'all to get the likes up to 300 ASAP, people. I shouldn't have to keep saying smash the like button. Wipe your feet before you come inside. Ring my doorbell before you walk in my house. Smash the like button. Get the likes up. It's free. It don't cost you a thing. Stop moonlighting and participate. So when did you see Devin Haney using his size as an advantage? When? Darius Gilliard, what's up, family? When did you see him use his size as an advantage? What fight was that? Where he was using his size as an advantage. You can't, right? Enric Perez, what's up, family? James Cherry, what's good? You can't because that didn't exist. Tone Capone one, what's good? Chris J, what's good? You can't say it because you never seen Devin Haney use his size. You seen him use his skills. King Josie 410, height and arm length plus size. So let me ask you a question because this is the silliest thing you could possibly say. So if he fights at 135, is he going to get shorter and his arms going to shrink? No, right? Maurice Bonner, what's up, family? So once again, Jafari Cameron, what's good? So once again, Lakia one, what's up? So once again, you didn't see his size as an advantage. He said reach his size. So then he can't, what are you going to do? Cut his arms off? You want him to cut his arms off? DD Empire, what's up, family? Kevin Jackson, what's good? I don't pay attention to any of that video because that meant nothing. Devin was a kid. Uh, uh, but I'm asking you, when did he use his size? You can't you can't give me a, a fight where Devin Haney used his quote unquote size. Do you know who uses their size as an advantage? Tyson Fury. QYW Network, what's up? Tyson Fury uses his size as an advantage. You know who else attempts to use their size as an advantage? Uh, Anthony Joshua on the inside. When he gets on the inside, Monty Norman, what's good? He attempts to use his size as an advantage. Okay? You didn't see, you don't see Devin Haney using his size as an advantage. You know who uses uh, their size as an advantage? Errol Spence tries to bowl you over and be aggressive with his size. That's using your size as an advantage. You ain't never seen Devin Haney fight in that manner. You know who uses their aggressiveness and their and their physical attributes? Sean Porter. He's aggressive with his with his size. For surely Sean nephew in the super chat dropping that cinco on your boy Blue. He says super tank fans argue about weight and uh and 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 a side. The he said they big mad now. Anyone can uh, counter uh, their argument with one video that they love so much. All facts. Uh, David Benavidez uses his size as an advantage. He walks you down. He presses you with his size. He uses his size as an advantage. When do you see Devin using his size?
uh, Cognac Conjure. The truth is, Devin fight people that are old and pretty much washed up. And all of Tank leftovers. When Tank fought Gamboa, he was younger. Gamboa not old, uh, vulnerable. And now he fighting Ryan. Uh, I don't even know if that's worth arguing with. Julius Young, what's good? Because you clearly know nothing what you speak of. You are just talking because you have a mouth. More Gravy 90, what's up? So that doesn't even make sense in itself. And you clearly don't watch boxing. Deuce Thomas, what's up? He clearly don't watch boxing. This dude said he fights Tank leftovers old and washed up. Loman, he said Gamboa was younger. They fought Gamboa. Gamboa fought Tank and then fought Devin Haney immediately after. Younger, he fought, Devin fought Gamboa that was healthy. Tank fought Gamboa that popped his Achilles, the worst injury a professional athlete or any athlete can suffer because it hinders your, your lateral movement. So what are you talking about? He popped his Achilles in the second and third round and still went all 12 rounds with Tank. That's the worst injury you can suffer. And they fought Gamboa back to back. That's number one. Number two, they only have one opponent, opponent in common, and that's Gamboa that they both fought. The only other one that they have is Ryan Garcia, and Devin has yet to share the ring with him. And as a matter of fact, if you want to be technical, Devin Haney already fought uh, Loma, uh, Ryan Garcia six times before Tank did. Right? That's the buildup for this fight. So what are you talking about? And Ryan Garcia's name has been built up off the amateurs and his social media. Not what he's done as a professional. And if you're going off the smaller session, then you got to go off the amateurs, right? So that makes no sense. Then you said that he only fights old people. Who did he fight that was old? Because, okay, let's say you're saying Lomachenko at 34 was old. Or Jorge Linares at 33 was old. Well, then you're not very bright. Because Canelo Alvarez is 33 years old right now. So is he old? So if Terrence Crawford, who is 36, just beat a 33-year-old Errol Spence. So they're old? Not so smart guy? Donald Destruction, what's up? So do you consider Errol Spence, Canelo Alvarez, Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo, Keith Thurman? You consider Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua? All of these dudes are old? You should do your homework before you speak. Be six. Tyson Fury, 35. Anthony Joshua, 35. So they're old. Toasty Southeast Goonie. What's up, family? So you so we watching a bunch of old washed up men, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Terrence Crawford is an old washed up man? Because he's 36. So if 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 Lomachenko was 34 and, and Jorge Linares was 33 or old washed up men, then Terrence Crawford is ancient, huh? Terrence Crawford must be ancient. Ancient. This dude is, is a is a monument. Huh? Terrence Crawford will be 37 in September. Double up, bro. What's up? He said, "Blue, you know what he mean." No, I don't know what he mean. I, he just said it. So you explain to what he means, since you want to, you want to uh, be the defender for him. King Trini, what's good? You his lawyer. You defending him? Okay, so you said I know what he means. So you tell me what he means then. Who was old and washed up? Because you show me the Devin Haney that that fought Lomachenko. Who's better than that Lomachenko? That same Lomachenko can fight anybody on Javante Tank Davis' resume and beat every last one of them. That very same old Lomachenko. So you tell me, who on Tank Davis' resume is better than 
34-year-old Lomachenko. Go ahead and tell me. Go ahead and tell me. Tell us. Who's better than Lomachenko? Jamal Davis, uh, man, blue, get out your feelings. Get out my feelings. What feelings am I in? What are you not so, what are you, what, what's, what's wrong with you? Are you in grade school? You still in kindergarten? You still counting blocks? You can't comprehend? You don't understand? What feelings am I in, brother? Because you want me to stoop down to your level of non-comprehension? That means I'm in my feelings? Because I can think very quickly at a high rate and you can't? That means I'm in my feelings? Because you don't understand? Because you can't, one plus one don't equal two? You still at the stage where you put an A and the letter number one together? The beauty of Africa, what's up? Kind Carl, what's up? Dudes be coming here saying anything they want. Oh, get out your feelings. What feelings am I in? You, you, y'all be coming here, Jay Hunt. What's up? Y'all be coming here just saying anything because it makes it, it, it just it's 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 social society today. Sneakyologist. Uh, 973, what's good? Blue, don't let these dummies get... Oh, I'm not in my feelings at all whatsoever. Jose Juarez, what's good? I'm not in my feelings at all whatsoever. Eastside Easy, what's good? No, they're in their feelings because they can't comprehend. So when I'm saying, right, see, they go other places, they, they make up these fantastic stories. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. See, they make up these fantastic stories. Barry Nash, what's up, family? Jafar Views, what's good? Uh, Jafar Views, don't have to disrespect other black men to make a point. Okay, how you know they black? Let's start right there, Jafar Views. Who told you they was black? Sneakerologist, pardon me, great brother. Neil Jones, what's good? Go ahead, Jafar Views, because you stay with your pom-poms out. You said not you, Blue. You said don't have to disrespect another black man. I'm the black man. Tyrone Murphy, what's good? So I need y'all to smash the like button, man. Let's get the likes all the way up. Well, my profile picture clearly shows I'm a black man. No, it doesn't. It just shows a, a picture of a person that you that you took a picture of. I don't know if that's you or not. You know this is me sitting here. I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's you at all. I do know that every time you come here, you 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 got a uh, uh, Choctaw Montana eight oh eight. What's good? You you making up stories? I know that. Neil Jones, what's good? Tody Johnson, what's up, family? I know that every time you come here, you got a story that you're making up. Oh, yeah, well, you know, because this and this and this. Always come out with your pom-poms out. High-fiving and chest bumping. No, this my, this me, bet your Devin Haney money on it. No, I, I hope that was you. I don't got to bet money on it. I, I should hope that's you. I do know you you be doing a lot of this. Give me an A. Give me a G. It really doesn't matter. Give me a B. I know that. I know that. Give me an A. Give me a G. Give me a T. We did it. High fiving and chest bumping, boy. Kanye <laughs> comes I'm messing with you, brother. I'm messing with you. Hey, I'll be having fun with y'all, man. I have fun. I'm having fun, man. Do you understand me? You understand me? At the end of the day, man, listen, I want us to get the fight. I know what this fight means to the sport of boxing. I know what this means to 
uh, 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 the future of the sport of boxing. Mr. All the Great Things, what's up, family? I know what this means to the future of the sport of boxing. I know what this means to the, uh, um, to the, you know, to the youth behind us. For surely, Sean, what's up, nephew? In the super chat, dropping that half a dub on your boy Blue in the super chat. Mad about the genetic makeup of the fighter. Arm reaches is, is is size. Man, get that out of here. And Gamboa already had uh, uh, two L's when he fought Tank. Gamboa was 38 years old versus Tank. Um, pom pom crew, terrible. And he been knocked out. J Dub, what's good? And he was already knocked out. They want to give him full credit for being Gamboa. As if Gamboa... Now, now make this make sense, nephew. Uh, 300, Mr. Big, what's up? Now, make this make sense, nephew. Man, he beat Gamboa. Devin fighting his leftovers. What? Isn't Gamboa tank? It Didn't he get knocked out and was 38 years old? So he fought Terrence Crawford leftovers? Didn't Gamboa... What? Let's look at Gamboa resume, shall we? Let's go to the videotape. Keith Tucker, what's good? Let's go to let's go. Why y'all make me do this? Why y'all make me do this, man? Man, Devin fighting tank leftovers. Okay. By the time he fought Tank Davis, he 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 had lost to Robert Castillos. He got stopped by him. He got stopped by Robert Castillo. He got knocked out by, by Terrence Crawford. Stopped by Castillos in the seventh round. Knocked out by Terrence Crawford in the ninth round, right? So he had already been knocked out twice in his career. And was 38 years old. He was 38 years old and already knocked out twice. Jerron Perdo, what's good? And you choose to use him? Ratchet says 9-1 was good. Brian Corbett was good. To say, man, my Egypt piece of bus queen, Devin fighting his leftovers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Man, Devin fighting tank leftovers. This dude was already knocked out. He was already knocked out twice and was 38 years old. <laughs> but surely Sean Nephew in the Super Chat, he said they both went to the 12th round and tank clothes barely. Facts. They both made it to the 12th round. He made it to the 12th round against Devin and to the 12th round against Tank. Darius Gill, y'all, brother in the Super Chat, dropping that half a dub on your boy Blue. He said, these dudes really think boxing is simple. But it would be it but it wouldn't be so complex to them realistically if they actually watched it when popularity isn't uh, a factor. Facts. So they both went to the to the 12th round. Devin is not a knockout artist. Tank is a knockout artist. They both went to the 12th round, but he popped his Achilles in the third round against Tank and went the, all the way to the 12th round. Now make that make sense. And he got knocked down. How many times did Tank knock him down? And he still made it to the 12th round. With no Achilles. And he didn't have no shoes. And he... He tore his shoes in, on in top of it. Dude tore his shoes and they had to put electric tape on his shoes. Y'all see this this shadow boxing between with Ryan and Frank Martin? It looks so cringy, bro. 
JTP us. What's up? Yeah. He said that boy uh, legs was looking extra goofy in that fight. <laughs> Bro, his shoes ripped and he popped his Achilles. Bro didn't even have shoes on and he didn't have no Achilles and still went to 12th round. And you got the audacity to sit here and be like, Bro, they fought. He fighting his leftovers in Gamboa. What? Mo Gravy 90, that's the queen, right? I just want to make sure I'm addressing you correctly. Bro, pop this. Bro. I said it and standing on it. Bro popped his Achilles and ripped his shoes. He had a silver electric tape on his shoes. <laughs> and he couldn't move. And he tore his Achilles. Bro, come on, man. Y'all got to chill. Y'all got to chill, man. AK Crowder, what's up, family? Salute to my brother, AK Crowder. What's up, family? Bro, y'all got to chill, bro. Y'all be tweaking. Y'all got to chill, man. It's the queen, right? Uh, Mo Gravy, 90. Peace and blessings, queen. I just wanted to make sure I address you uh, correctly. D did you see that? Mo Gravy. That, is, that smart, is that shadow boxing? Con Carl, what's up? That shadow boxing is very cringy. It's like, bro, bro is like, his movements look very un... un Keyshawn Johnson, what's up, family? I bet y'all don't know I'm black, but I am... Don Ramos, we all black. Jerron Perda, what's up? The truth of the matter is we all are. Uh, Gamboa should have had good shoes and good footwork. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, he should have. Bro, how your shoes rip? Bro ripped his shoes immediately. Like, bro, come on, bro. He was already a millionaire, Gamboa was. That ain't made no sense for his shoes to rip like that. Absolutely no sense in the world why Gamboa's shoes rip. TR said, nope, I'm brown and I'm proud. Ain't no such thing as being brown, bro. You're either black from the melanin or you're not. Crypto Mo, what's up? Gamboa's a practice dummy now. <laughs> yeah, he, like, ain't he? I think he's still in jail, matter of fact. Salute to Fasholi Sean. Salute nephew in the super chat. Tank support is lethal. You can't make this up. You can't. You simply can't. You can't. Albert Mayo was good. Gamboa ripped uh, his shoes like Zion at Duke. Sure did. Sure did. I, I mean, and then he put electric tape on it, and then he popped his Achilles. Bro. I know he was I know he was uh, livid at his team. Like, bro, y'all, I popped my Achilles in. Uh, 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 I popped my Achilles and ripped my shoes. Hustle home. What's up, family? Ryan Garcia looks extremely stiff. Choctaw, Montana, 808. I'm going to rent you up. But you wild for saying silver electric. T Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Barry Jetta, what's good? Did you watch the Haney Loma fight? I did. Did you? Fido, what's good? Albert Mayer, what's good? Game over, ripped his shoes. Yep, sure did. Did I watch the Haney? Yeah, sure did. Did you watch it? I did, I did, I did. K Different Breed, what's up, family? What up, Blue? 
I'm a female, by the way, uh, uh, just ripped uh, and built, stay in the gym, different breed. Blessings to you, K. Blessings, Queen. I can't see your profile pic up close. I can see uh, uh, Donnie D. Tavon Dupree, what's good? Bobby Midnight Poet, what's up, family? Uh, um, KD, K, uh, KDB, you mind if I call, I'm going to call you KDB. Uh, Mo Gravy, her profile pic is up close. Yours is a little bit faded back. So I can see that it's a it's a, a a queen in the picture. I just don't know. Some of the brothers be having their, their own their queens up as their profile pic. And I'll be like, blessings, queen. They be like, man, it's the king. I'm a man. I'm a man, Damon. You understand what I'm saying? Then they be getting mad at me. You better ignore my last statement, Blue. I didn't even see it. Arthur Williams the third was good. Then they get mad at me. I'm a man. I'm a, I'm a boy. I'm a boy, Damon. K9, what's good? Salute. He said, yeah, she shredded. That's what's up. Hey, you, you compete? Man, the Yankees lost again. King Washington was good. The Yankees lost again. I need y'all to smash the like button, man. Get the likes all the way up. Mind the man, Samusa, LLC. What's up, family? I am a boy, Damon. Salute to my brother, my nephew, for surely showing in the super chat. He said, I am a boy, Damon. Facts. Just do boxing. What's up, family? Go subscribe to my brother, Just Do Boxing. What's up, family? Yeah, that's how they be doing me. Yeah, they be inboxing me, too. Yo, Blue, man, why you keep addressing me as queen? What? Why wouldn't I? Your name says Princess G, and it has a beautiful queen as the profile pic. Yeah, well, no, 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 that's my wife. Now, how am I supposed to know that, brother? How am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to know that? Your name says Princess G. It's a whole queen, beautiful queen in the profile pic. I bless you, queen. Yo, yo, inboxing me. Yo, bro, it's disrespectful. No, it's disrespectful that your name says Princess G and a queen as your profile pic, and you're mad at me for addressing you as such. What are you talking about? Yo, nah, nah, nah. Disrespecting me, king. I'm a king. I'm a whole king. Bruh, change your name. At least have your name as Rick James and, and with a profile pic, then I could be like, all right, how am I supposed to make that out, bro? You mad at me. Like, I'm supposed to be guesstimating. If y'all can see my inbox, y'all y'all have explode. I kid you not. If you see my inbox, y'all will be like, how do you do it? <clears throat> Literally. K Cozy, what's up, family? You'd be like, bro, I don't know how you do it. You you literally be like, bro, I how do you do this? Literally. It's 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 it's, it's super wild, bro. You you literally like you'd be like, Bro, I don't even know how you do this. I don't know either, bro. I don't know either. Dudes, and they be aggressive too. Yo, yo, bro. What's good, king? I dress you as, man, come on, respect me as a king. Didn't know you was. Oh, why are you trying to play me? Bro, I'm not, how am I, your name is Princess G, and your profile pic is a queen. What do you want me to think? Hey, you, I was supposed to read Princess G. See the queen as a picture and be like, hey, what's up, king? Now she going to be in my inbox. Hey, I'm a whole queen. I'm a whole, like, bro, I can't win for losing. So please, please. Love Stacey B. Blessings, queen. You, you, uh, please, you know what I'm saying? Give me something to work with. You understand what I'm saying? Give Blue something to work with, man. That's all I ask. Give me something to work with. You understand me? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. If Dev win, give his credit. He's the GOAT. Agreed. Uh, no, he's not the GOAT. Um, you almost had me, great brother. Uh, uh, if Dev win, though, he gets props from me. 
Uh, for surely Sean, nephew in the super chat again. This is my ladies' page, bro. Respect my 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 the right. <laughs> Facts, Chris Esperon, what's good? Yeah, bro. Like, bro. They uh 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 uh. So yeah, if Devin beats Ryan Garcia, is he the king of this era? No. Uh uh, is he working his way into that direction? Yes. Is he the best right now? You, you can say that, right? Uh, 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 um, uh, so this is going to make the Tank Davis fight even bigger. That's what it's going to do. It's going to make taking, Tank and Devin fight enormous. That's what it's going to do. Uh, Devin and Tank fight is going to be enormous. Okay. Uh, 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 Tank is already Tank fight with Frank Martin Is going to be a big fight Based off of styles Is it going to do a million pay-per-views? I doubt that Is it going to do You know uh, um, uh, uh, Is it going to uh, um, be Man, my eyes Itching, the weather's changing is it going to be um, a blockbuster fight? No. Because many people don't know. They don't know who. Um, and let me wrench up the queens. Because dudes love to wrench out. Wrench, dudes love to block the queens, boy. Hey, hey, what's your name, sweetheart? Where you at? Oh, I'm good. Oh, you good. Oh, you good. Oh, you blocked. You blocked now. Let me wrench up the queens. You know what I'm saying? Hey, queen. How you doing, queen? You know, what's your name? You know, they they chewing bubble gum and how you doing, queen? This, this, and this, right? And the queen be like, oh, I'm good. I'm good on you. Oh, you good? Nah, you blocked. I know how this works. <clears throat> Boo, I mean, if he beats Tank. Uh, if he beats Tank. Oh, if he beats Tank, yeah. He gonna be the face of the sport of boxing. 1,000%. If he beats Javante Tank Davis, he gonna be the face of the sport of boxing. For sure. He's gonna surpass... Um, he's gonna surpass... Um, Canelo. Well, let me not say he's gonna... Uh, how you doing? He, let me not say he's gonna surpass Canelo, right? But um, he'll definitely. I don't think. I don't think he. Uh, Richard Napoleon was good. I don't think he surpasses Canelo with a fight with a, the win over Tank. But he's well on his way. He'll be well on his way. Um, Tank still. Uh, Canelo still has major fights that presents itself. Okay. Uh, uh, um. So. Devin beats Tank. He still has the Shakur fight. He's he still has the he can move his way up to a fight with Boots. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna make it enormous, no doubt. Uh but Canelo still has big fights, and Canelo's only 33. If he fights, it's hard to catch up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they need Canelo to be stagnant, but at the at the place where Canelo is, it's almost impossible for him to be stagnant. You understand? Canelo has done four pay per views that did a million pay per view buys. He did the Caleb Plant did a hundred eight hundred and fifty thousand pay per view buys. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and Caleb Plant is not the most well known fighter in the world. These are the fights that Canelo is doing. So. Devin has yet to do a pay-per-view by this million. Uh, Tank only did one. You know what I'm saying? Now, Tank and Devin fight. Now, here's the thing. Uh, 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 um, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, Tank is the man to beat. So, Devin and Ryan do a million pay-per-view buys. I think it will. If Devin and Ryan do a million pay-per-view buys, that's one for Devin. That's one for Tank. Tank and Devin fight each other. Right, seeing, uh, uh, um, you know, expecting Tank to win. I mean, Devin to win against Ryan. They they fight they uh, uh, fight each other. That's going to be another million pay per view fight. Right, 
uh, so they will have two. The thing is, Canelo got four on the possible. You know what I'm saying? And then he fight he fight David Benavidez. That's gonna be a million pay per views. He gonna do another million pay per view buy. If Canelo fights David Benavidez, it's gonna do another million pay per view buy. And don't be surprised if him and Jaime Munguia do a million pay per views. For surely sure, nephew back in the building, back in the super chat, dropping another single on your boy below. He said Tank's coach, low key delusional. Said Tank Frank does more pay per views than uh, Tank and Ryan. Stop. What's up with uh, what's up what's up with it King, with it Queen? I'm good. Oh, for the real hold this block. Facts. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're gonna do, nephew. I've seen it all too many times. What's up, Queen? They trying to talk to Queen. Oh no, I'm good. Oh, yeah? Block. Bro, don't be blocking the Queens. So, who said that? Coach Calvin said that? Coach Calvin said that that Frank Martin versus Tank is going to do more pay-per-views than Ryan and Tank? He couldn't have said that. Neither one. Not Kenny could have said that either. He had to be joking. There's no way. Codeine, what's up, family? There's no way he said that. Professor X, what's up, family? Kenny had to be trolling. He had to be trolling, right? There's no way he said that in in in, in, in true faith. Canelo Munguia, who you got? I got Canelo. Yup, he was he was dead serious. Step by me, peace and blessings, Queen. That just sounds ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous. Bro, and it's no slight, no disrespect to Frank Martin. Bro, it takes two to tangle. I don't care what. How could he be under the impression that Tank did all the work when he got with Ryan? He had a boost in nine hundred thousand pay per views. When he fought Ryan, he jumped up nine hundred thousand pay per views. Do y'all hear what I just said? Father A1 was good. Let me say it again. He did a total of 250,000 pay-per-views was his highest pay-per-view. 250,000 pay-per-views was Tank Davis' highest pay-per-view wise. That was against Roley, right? He did 1.2 million pay-per-views with Ryan. So he did 950,000 pay-per-views jump. Make that make sense. Zoo Gang 12, what's up? So there's no way he can possibly think that Tank did all the work and was responsible for that pay-per-view being that high. There's no way. Eric Brown, what's good? There's no way. Slim Bassy, what's good? T. White, what's up? Because you gotta, you know why you gotta take a zoo gang? This is the thing. Richard Napoleon, what's up, family? You have to understand there's boxing platforms and then there's platforms uh, that are strictly aimed at one at towards one fighter. That's the difference. But they'll but these platforms will masquerade as if they're boxing platforms. They're not. They're not. They're 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 they are geared towards one specific fighter and the, the fans see lex luther was good when you are a fan of a specific fighter you you will go to said platform why because that platform is telling you everything you want to hear right if i'm an overweight man i'll just give you an example if i'm an overweight man and i love beautiful women and the reality is eight times out of 10, unless you are financially well off, you ain't getting a beautiful woman if you're severely overweight. It just ain't going to happen, right? As women typically like, especially beautiful women, they're going to attract beautiful, quote unquote, looking men, right? It just is what it is. Now you have some anomalies. You have some 
some exceptions, right? Women like comedy, right? They like to be made laugh. They like to be courted. You understand? They like to, to, to live the good life, right? Uh, 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 um, now, if I could sit here and I'd be like, bro, you need to jump in the gym if you single and you trying to, and you got a specific woman, you being picky because you want, you want tens, you want eight to tens, right? And oh, mix the big play break, what's good? With, with great bodies and all that, but you ain't doing it yourself. Jay Hunt, what's good? Reality is you need to start getting in the gym and you need to be financially well off to be able to support said woman. Nah, bro, nah. Now, if there's another platform, right, that comes out and be like, bro, you could be whatever size you want and get whatever woman you want. And you don't got any, you don't need money. You don't need this. Well, guess what? That's what you want to hear. That's what you're going to go watch. You, you're going to be sitting on your couch with a bag of Doritos, a Mr. Good Bar, ice cream being frozen, Dominoes on the way. You're going to sit there and you're going to daydream. And you're going to be like, y'all, and see, they right. They right. They right. They right. You don't want to hear the truth. You, you don't, people don't want to hear the truth. It's just the facts of the matter. It's the facts. Society has changed. We can't tell people the truth. You got to alter the truth now. Now you got to say things more politely. Nah, he ain't overweight. You can't say the F word. You got to say he's well in doubt. Bro, what? Hey, people don't want to hear the truth. So, Andre, what's up? Now you come here and you hear about specific fighters not fighting the best. And I tell you the truth. And guess what? You're going to be here talking about, man, see this dude, man, this dude a hater. You a hater. This dude a hater. Eric Brown, what's good? Nah, this dude a hater. Hey, I want to see him fight this, bro. Oh, man, you a hater. What? Dude came in yesterday. I said, we want to see Tank and Devin fight. The best fighting the best. This dude came here yesterday and said, Man, y'all begging. What? We said we want to see Tank and Devin fight. That's the best versus the best. This dude said, we begging. Now, how does that sound? I'm begging because I want to see the best fight the best in a sport that I pay for? Imagine going to Burger King saying, hey, let me get a Whopper. And they say, Bro, we ain't got no whoppers. Take this, take this uh, fish sandwich, man, and stop begging. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to y'all? Texas T346, what's good? It don't make sense, right? My Egypt piece of blessings, queen. Terrence, what's up, family? King Cat, what's up? It don't make sense now, does it? No, it doesn't. Dom G, what's good? So now we want to see the best. Tank said that at, at when it's all said and done with Frank Martin, should he be uh, victorious? Cedric Rose, what's good? Now he expects, obviously, King P 24 7. What's up, family? Obviously, Tank Davis expects to be successful. That's why he's betting the money he's willing to bet uh, that he's going to beat Frank Martin, right? And he says that he's going to send uh, Devin Haney the contract. Alex Rodriguez, what's good? We got to hold them to that. We got to hold them to it. Now, when it comes to Canelo and Terrence Crawford, Jesus Cintron, what's up, family? Canelo Alvarez does not want to fight Terrence Crawford because he don't want to be embarrassed, people. Canelo Alvarez is well aware of Terrence Crawford's skill set and talent. He does not want to be embarrassed. Rudy G's, what's good? He, 
clearly does not want to be embarrassed at all whatsoever. Terrence Crawford has a specific set of skills, like old boy from Taken, that matches up beautifully with Canelo Alvarez. I need y'all to smash the like button. I need y'all to like, get the likes to 500. We have 350 likes. We need 150 likes. I need y'all to get the likes up to 500. Why I got to be begging, uh, give the fans what they want. Exactly. Where do they say that at, Queen? Tariq Reed, what's up, family? They only say that in the sport of boxing because they are detractors and they don't want to see Tank lose. They're going to curl up in the ball, eat Rocky Road ice cream, and not not the, not the Blue Mountain version, not the Hagen dazs version because they ain't got Blue Mountain and Hagen dazs money. They're going to eat uh, 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 the no-frills version of Rocky Roads curled up in the ball if Tank Davis lose. They don't want to go down that road of trauma. So they're going to do and say anything that they possibly can to protect themselves. To protect themselves. Right? From that trauma. They don't believe it. They don't want to see it. They don't like their chances. Don't do it. And if you are going to do it, put a bungee rope, put a, put a bungee, bungee cord on. Octavia Spencer, what's going on? Nephew, for surely showing back in the super chat. Tank said Haney is next. Heard this before. Yeah, me too. Jeff Sparks, QY, what's up? Cody Maxwell, what's good? You understand? That's what's going to happen. They, they are afraid of that trauma. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? You know what it is, Queen? You know, when you finally get a beautiful woman and dude be like, hey, uh, 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 you've been waiting all your life. Now you got this beautiful woman and you insecure. McKinley Shields, let's go. You insecure. She like, hey, I'm going to dinner with my friends. Oh, I'm coming too. Wait, what? Young, uh, young Zeus 19, what's good? Who gonna be there? You understand? It's that type of thing. Or if you gonna go out with your friends, hey, my sister gotta go with you. That type of thing. To try to reassure themselves that you come back home. Jones 2-3, what's up? And your phone don't got an extra number in it that don't belong there. You understand me? That's what that's what that's what's going on here. Right? They got they got a situation where uh 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 no nah, no nah, if I let Tank go out there and fight I I, I he, he gotta have he he can fight who you see see uh Jamal Mills what's good and she say uh and she say I'm going to work right and her work is a all women's job all right no problem baby they sit back they confident in themselves go ahead baby yeah no no do overtime Spend the night there. See, they suit, they super confident. Go ahead and spend the night there. You understand me? Or everybody there is, is 80 year old, 70 year old men. Go ahead, baby. You know, oh, you good. You understand? But the moment she said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going out here with with with, with my friends and and these young men and, and they could dance and they could do this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My sister gotta go with you. You see, they want an asterisk by it. They want security. And that's what they want here. Right? Is Tank fighting Frank Martin? Then you don't hear not one person talking about catch weights, rehydration clauses. Frank is only an inch shorter than, than Devin. He's slick. He's African American. They don't feel that same pressure. So they don't care. Ain't nobody talking about catch weights. Frank Martin 5'8, Tank 5'5. Five, five. Ain't nobody talking about catch weights. Ain't nobody talking about rehydration causes. Ain't nobody talking about none of that. Because they confident that he going to beat Frank Martin. They confident he going to beat Frank Martin. Let me tell you something, Queen. This is so ridiculous. Did you know, Queen, up until we heard that, that Ryan Garcia had a catch weight? Okay, Mo Gravy 890, Queen. Up until we heard that Ryan Garcia, when Ryan Garcia started to say, I got this catch weight rehydration clause, none of these people, none of these Tank Davis de de defenders even knew that Mario Barrios had a rehydration clause. Did you know that? Respect my loop. What's up, family? Student 7 teacher. What's good? Black Mingo. What's good? 
Maya Egypt Queen. Nobody knew that Mario Barrios had a rehydration clause until Mario Barrios came out. It was in the contract and you didn't even know. Rich, Rich Porter was good. And nobody cared because Mario Barrios didn't present the same talent and skill set of Devin Haney. Mr. Holmes was good. Not near one of these fans cared. They didn't even know about it. Because Mario Barrios, when he made the fight with Mario Barrios, not one of them said, man, you need a rehydration clause. You need a catch weight with Mario Barrios. That dude big. No, they said he going to knock out Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios don't represent no threat. We ain't worrying about Mario Barrios. They didn't even know Mario Barrios had a rehydration clause until Mario Barrios came out when Ryan Garcia was talking about, oh, man, they put this rehydration clause on me. Uh, uh, I was drained. And Mario Barrios came out and said, yeah, Tank did the same thing to me. Y'all didn't even know he did. That was the case. Because Mario Barrios didn't represent the same threat Devin Haney was. And y'all wasn't calling for Mario Barrios kept it a hush. Nobody was calling for Mario Barrios to have a rehydration clause or a catch weight. And he's bigger than Devin Haney. He's bigger than Devin Haney. Not near one of these fans on here that come here every day talking about, man, Devin need a rehydration clause. Barbara D, I'm calling you out, queen. You came here talking about, oh, Blue doing uh, 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 damage control. Oh, Devin need to have all types of rehydrations and commitments. Barbara D, that's what you said. Queen, I love you, but I'm going to call you out. But you not once said that Mario Barrios needed a rehydration clause before he fought him. You didn't even know he had a rehydration clause. And you didn't care. And Mario Barrios is six feet tall. When I see, when you see Mario, if y'all ever see Mario Barrios in person, you're going to say, how this dude even make 147? That's how big he is. He's bigger than Errol Spence. He's bigger than Errol Spence. For surely showing nephew back in the super chat. Ryan could not be more than, uh, than 10 pounds in the ring. Facts. Nobody cared what Mario Barrios weighed because he didn't represent the same threat that Devin Haney represents. Size didn't matter then. They didn't care about size. Deontay D, what's good? Size didn't matter at that time. Jackie Hernandez, peace and blessings, queen. How you feeling today? Not a single soul cared about size. Now all of a sudden, size matters. Mario Barrios is bigger than... I, guess what? I had the luxury. I have the luxury of being next to Mario Barrios, being next to Errol Spence, being next to Terrence Crawford, being next to Javante Tank Davis, being next to Devin Haney, being next to Ryan Garcia Pauls. And guess what? Mario Barrios is huge. He's absolutely huge. And not a single soul cared about how big Mario Barrios was. Not one. They only care because it's not, as I tell you guys, once again, it has nothing to do with size. It has everything to do with skills. That's what it boils down to. King Trini, brother in the super chat, dropping that. Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, most of Tank fans are casual boxing fans who just like KOs. They, don't do, they do not watch boxing nor knock, uh, knock on Tank himself, but no knock on Tank himself, but but his fans are like um, bronze sexual facts this is all true nobody knew mario barrios came out after the ryan garcia fight and said yeah they put a rehydration clause on me too why because shout out to ness and shout out to the boxing voice shout out to my brother ring walk danny shout out to ness and shout out to the boxing voice step mommy blessings queen uh they did their homework i didn't even know that og sean the don was good and Ness reached out to Mario Barrios because Ness was saying Mario Barrios didn't have no rehydration clause. And then Ness got in contact with Mario Barrios and Mario Barrios said, yeah, they secretly had a rehydration clause on me too. Not Nobody in the world knew. Not me, nobody. He kept it under wraps. Ronil Rosant, what's good? Raw Sports TV, what's good? Then the rest of the world uh, 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 caught up and, and realize, oh, wait, G. Al, what's up, family? 
Salute to my brother G Al in the building. What's up, family? Then the rest of the world caught up, and the rest of the world was like, oh, Barrios had a rehydration, and then it justified it. Darnell Schaefer, what's good? Yeah, I had to say pause. Harlem, stand up. Salute to the 11550. Salute to Hempstead. D Boy Dad, what's good? So then everybody used that as a justification to say, see? Barrios had one too, because Tank ain't comfortable there. But nobody knew that, and nobody cared. Nobody knew it, and nobody cared. They only cared afterwards to use it as a defense mechanism. Period. And then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, because, yeah, you see, Barrios had rehydration clause too. He had a catcher. It, it justified it. Suddenly, everybody was okay with it. Now all of a sudden everybody's is is rehydration claws and, and, and catch weight specialist. Now everybody's rehydration claws and catch weight specialist. Now all of a sudden Everybody's rehydration clause and catch weight specialists. Hey man, nah man, you know, because technically, when you uh 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 Raw Sports TV said Tank sleeps ain't in my opinion. And then I don't got no problem with your with your opinion, that being your opinion. T Blanco, what's good? Because Tank is super confident in the 135 class. Sounds good. It sounds good. Sounds good. So yeah, man, smash that like button, people. Issues that associates them with Prime at this current moment. Let's listen to Who's Ryan Garcia. To Prime and what's in them. Ryan Garcia is going on the rant. Let's listen to it. Here we go. Let's listen to Ryan go into this rant. Of course, they probably try to mess that up. How do I add a moderator? Who wants to be a moderator to the live? For sure, he's showing nephew anyway, on the super chat. They say that A side is cheerleading scared. Facts. Let's listen. In danger if they keep drinking this. It's the truth. It is the truth. Can they sue me? Yes. Do I care? No. Because I can defend myself and I'm going to counter sue them. I'm going to counter lawsuit them for defaming me because now they caused a lot of emotional distress on me just trying to say like I'm mentally ill now I'm who knows maybe maybe that turned me to be mentally ill yeah whatever anyways and I'm going to sue them I don't care I'm going to sue them please share this live everybody share this live too much I always make the scratch phrase huh I'm going to keep doing it that's what I do this is me Everybody has their own thing. Stop trying to make things out of nothing. But, like I was saying, this drink has caused kids to have seizures. And we have real proof of that. A lot of nurses are hitting me up, speaking to me, saying that they're, they've seen it firsthand that what this drink does to kids. And if you guys really are going against that, that shows so much about your character. Not only have we allowed this man to continue yeah. on after mocking right. our religion, it's right? Going in. Even though following Christ is not a religion, it's a it's a way of life. Jesus uh, speaks on that, but I'm not going to get into that. Smash so the like button, man. Let's get the likes up. We allow him to do that and get away with it. OG and, and Nova, the filth, Nova, what's up, he, he everybody? literally told everybody to take the vaccine, and the vaccine was hurting everybody. Uh, Ryan, going in, man. This is um, literally, this is the guy you guys are supporting. This is the guy that you guys are supporting. Are, can you believe this? And you guys just look at me like I'm, like something's wrong with me, but this guy is literally hurting kids. So the fact that they literally have been trying to make it seem like I'm mentally ill, mentally ill when. But surely showing nephew in the super chat. 
Which is the sue me and I'll children. sue you. Why, children, you like babies facts. that are innocent babies. Myra to you, my brother. I, What's I up, baby? I swear, I feel like I'm in the movie Don't Look Up. I, I, I Spence, New York City. What's good? Like I'm in the movie Don't Look Up. There you go. Another devil worshiper. You look lost, Ryan. Why would I look lost? I actually been found. Hey, I'm man, rich. I got to get out of here, and people. If you trusted Jesus, uh, you would just uh, pray and say, Appreciate y'all coming through, done, man. Not mine. You know, sometimes you got to just let God, God lead. What are you guys mad about? Like, because I'm exposing these people? I got to get out of here. But, uh, man, shouts out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all coming through, studding up, holding me down. Terrence Crawford uh, 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 has Canelo Alvarez absolutely spooked because of his skill set. Again, it's the safety net, right? When you have that safety net... When you have that safety net of fighting guys where you have a built-in excuse, he has no built-in excuse. You understand? Fighting Terrence Crawford. He don't have a built-in excuse. If he lose to Terrence Crawford, that would be a negative uh, 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 um, reflection on Canelo Alvarez. That's why Canelo Alvarez doesn't want to fight Terrence Crawford. If he fights Dimitri Bivol, he has a built-in excuse losing to Dimitri Bivol. For surely sure, nephew, back in the super chat. I'm gonna no, write no, the write the so write the letter. Yeah. Right. I'm not friends with Mike. Facts. Mike, Smash that I like button, man. Let's get the likes to 500, Jesus. man. Get the likes to 500. But Terrence he Crawford's skill set, Terrence Crawford talent. Uh, there is no no no. Uh 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 um. There is no um. He don't have a safety net. Period. You understand? Z stacks 1017. What's up, family? But I appreciate y'all, man. I got to get out of here, man. Let's listen. To, hey, go to Ryan Garcia Instagram. Let's listen to it. I appreciate y'all coming through, studding up, holding your boy Blue down and showing me love. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace. We'll be back on. Uh, and again, uh, we'll be back on tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, uh, um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The trio, right? Boxing trio. Myself, my brother A-Side, and the queen, Karma Serene. Peace and blessings to y'all. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure y'all tune in. YouTube will not send a notification. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure y'all tune in.